Welcome to Live In. This is Nadia. Hey, why don't we do a virtual travel show? Thank you, Greg and Alice, for letting us step into your living room and sharing your living life with us. Okay, London, here we are. Let's go. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Oh my gosh, how are you? Oh, we were, oh I got we've already got... Yeah, we've already got our first visit. Hi, Alice. How are you? Alice? So nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. I love your hair. Oh, thanks. I washed it. <laughs> <laughs> so did I. <laughs> me too. Me too. Like special. <laughs> How are you? Wilfred didn't yeah. get the hair washed. Yeah, but I mean, we're good. I'm just feeling a bit under the weather the last couple of days, but I'm, I'm fine. I haven't got you know what, so. Yeah, 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 totally. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm really excited about this, going to London and visiting you guys right now. It's awesome. Yeah, I've, I've started you off at the, at the bar. So if you'd like a drink, I know it's a bit early in Vancouver. I'm on coffee still. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> 6.45, I wanted to be a bit pepped up, you know? I'm, we're inside all day. <laughs> I was saving my only exercise today to do with you, so I have, I'm very mellow at this point. We can be mellow, we can be mellow. Oh, hi, Wilfred, uh, so cute. Hi. What Say kind hi, of Will. dog is he? He's a Beijing Liu Lango. Beijing Liu Lango, okay, guys. Yeah, from, Greg from is awesome, he speaks Mandarin. I am part Asian, I don't know, oh, if, you, I don't know if you noticed. Is is it true? Like really? Like yeah, Caucasian. Yeah. Oh, oh, right. Of course. I guess we were all Asian then. It's a terrible uh, joke. It's a really, really bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> I to right. you seriously, I was like, oh, I didn't know you were a halfer. Can you speak Chinese, Alice? Wait, wait, what are you doing Wow, holy hi Yeah, she works for uh, Jingdong, so she's well entrenched in the Chinese system now. Wow, do you work in Jingdong in London or in so Europe? So really what we do is try and get all the brands and fashion designers, I work in the fashion luxury part, get them to work in China. That's amazing. My favorite is when she goes to uh, Italy to get like the, the brands from Milan and I'm not on a show or something and I'm like, so maybe I'll come with you and just eat a bunch of pasta. You do such a good job of eating that pasta. I, I'm, one of the best, I'm one of the best pasta eaters around, I'm not gonna lie. Well, I mean, what else are you supposed to do in Italy, you know? No, but exactly. Like, it's either fashion or pasta. Free dinner drinks, you gotta have your, your Aperol spritz or uh, your Negroni okay. if you're really yeah. going for it. Prosecco. Well, speaking of work, I've got to go and do a little bit more before I finish for today, so I'm gonna let you guys crack on. Yeah, this gets, out. Whole yeah, yeah. yeah this gets out. She goes to the ferry. Yeah. She's technically still at work. It's but, so yeah. nice to see you. So, Anyway, I want to tell everybody that, you know, what Greg does. Greg is also an entertainment business and, um, you know, he does production and he's been on like some amazing sets and those movies have been watched by everybody in the world. Yeah. Can I tell everybody about that? Well, um, I was actually going to wear my, the last show I did, I was going to wear the hoodie for it and Alice was like, No, do don't. it. Well, she goes, you don't ever wear a hoodie. Why are you going to wear a hoodie now? I'm like, because I, I looked at myself, I feel like I look good in this thing. It was, uh... Cruella was the last show I did for Disney. So that was, uh, I did that one in the accounting department just to get some more experience on the budget side there. No, that was fun. Wow. It was fun. We had, uh, I, can't, I don't think I should name any names, but one of the top actors calls and he was like, hey, I want to talk to you about my pension. And I'm like, oh, okay, let's talk about your pension. And <laughs> yeah, he, he's been, uh, oh, he, I, to be honest, he's a nice guy. It was Mark Strong. He wouldn't care. Because he, <laughs> Mark Strong. Yeah, he's, and you could tell he was like walking around in his house on speakerphone. Like I'm like, I was thinking, Mark, you have people that do this sort of thing for you, but he must have just been a uh, slow day for Mark. I think he wanted to talk to you. Well, yeah, yeah, probably. Who like, would? Greg, I want to be Who buddies would? with you, so I'm just going to make up this excuse so that I can call you. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Exciting times in the Cruella accounts office now, but uh, so I mean, in terms of what I do for work, I started in acting in China. Although my favorite one was this one show where I was this like, sort of, I was an antique collecting psychopath from uh, the UK. And there was one point where, I think, what was it? I, I was doing something terrible. And then I, I failed in my terrible attempt. I don't even want to go into what it was because it was pretty terrible. And 
and in, in the character uh, or in real life? The character. Oh no, me personally, I'm very nice. I'm, uh, I'm yeah, that was a surprise. Yeah, right, right, okay, right. And I had in my in my best British accent, I had to be like so pissed off and just throw everything off my desk, and I was like, damn it. Yes! And my voice cracked. It was the. It was probably my my favorite scene, but the show never got released, so it was another. Oh, you know. <laughs> God damn monkey! You are dead! You are dead! I was. But yeah, no. So after China and doing uh, acting, I sort of worked my way into production. I'd done a bunch of voiceover. I've I've done uh, directed and produced a few radio dramas, which uh, you you would know about. Yeah, you've heard, you've heard of those. You, you've started in a radio drama yourself. That's right. That's right. Too bad we never worked together on a radio drama. I oh, know. I think that was that was sort of as I went like hard into production. I think I was working on The Great Wall when you guys did yours. So that was uh, struck in New York. Yeah, yeah. Well, Fred. Hi, what are you saying? Oh, oh no. What oh. happened? Is there somebody at the door? I think the police forces are, are patrolling and he just, when he, he's still going. Well. Wait, the can police person patrols your door? Oh no, just outside. Oh, can you still hear him? He's still going. Well, what's wrong? Like What's they're wrong? bad guys, bad guys. <laughs> so um, I was thinking that since we're we're all in London right now, guys, we should definitely speak in the British accent. Oh God, don't make me do it, Alice. I'll do it with you. I'll do it with you. I'll do it with you. And please, our British friends, please, no haters. Thank you. We are trying our best. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I, seriously, it's not. It's not. <laughs> I love it. It's absolutely fantastic. Oh, God. I think we're going to do the entire segment in... Please, no, I refuse. Look, I, I wash my hands. I'll do it in a Chinese accent, but no, I, I feel like... You, you can do a Chinese accent, then. I'll be in British accent, and I think that's fair. I mean, I just think it's justice. You know, we've got to, like, embellish the whole thing, really push the culture, oh, no. really do a travel show about London. <laughs> I think I think for me it's harder because I have a British wife, and every time I do my British accent, she takes the piss out of me to use a British yeah, phrase. That's true. I'm sorry, Alice. Sometimes I slide into oh Australian. <laughs> I slide That's out. the hardest thing to do. It's it's to, to not go to the Australian and then the Kiwi occasionally. Totally, totally. I do that sometimes. I'm looking out the window right now, thinking about that. Let's both do that. Still not sure. I Still not sure. I want to. But your window's behind you. You know, I have to say, I'm very impressed with your lighting here because you have your backlit, That's yet right. you've managed to get some good fill. I think I should have right. should have had a bounce from this side to really fill out my. But then I also rotate to myself. Light it. Oh yeah, God, I look so much better. Yeah, yeah. We've got, so uh, we've got our Beijing. Where is she? Is that you? No, that's a woman. I don't stand on point in the hutong in dance in the in the 1950s. No, I think yeah, she's a Beijing ballerina in the hutongs. Wow, she's beautiful, so graceful. Oh, we'll let her be our my background. And now I'm not as uh, harshly lit on the side of my face, which was just really wasn't doing it for me. No, you look perfect. You're 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 very well lit. Uh, I think my other background is better. I'm gonna rotate again. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good idea. I like that background a lot. I don't know why you even switched. You've got pink chairs in the background and the little, oh. little pink, silver metallic. It's the, light, it's the lighting. I'm so washed out. Look at this. Oh, oh it's amazing. That's great. Look at look at your little. You've got like a, you've got a little like leaf thing hanging from the side of your head. Look at that. Like when you sit. Hey, that's there. Actually, the cabinet's actually from Beijing, and. Oh. I love it. I love that you have stuff from Beijing. I miss Beijing so much. Gosh. Yeah, it was, it was a good time. I do miss it as well. Yeah. When he was a baby, my wife, actually my wife found him when I was working on the Great Wall. So we were in Qingdao on the fake Great Wall that we built. And I got this picture saying, uh, we have a situation. And I go, oh, that's a cute puppy. And then I realized, oh, that's my living room floor under that puppy. So I called her and she's like, we found him, he was wandering around the hutongs. We asked everyone whose dog it was. They said, he's been there for like a week. Nobody knew whose he was. So they, we, we had to take him home. I didn't give him a name, don't worry. His name's Wilfred. Uh, we're not gonna keep him. 
and don't worry, I'm not suggesting that we adopt him or anything like that, mm -hmm. but... <laughs> and now we love him. He's he's had a good time of it, because after we went after we left Beijing, so going back to Taiwan, did a year of intense Chinese there, went home for a bit, worked at a bar in Cleveland, and then again, had a beer, decided, you know what, forget it, let's go back. Was gonna move to Shanghai, ended up moving to Beijing, and started, I was teaching at Beijing 55 Middle School when I first got there. I taught, because uh, I studied finance here. I'm gonna let Wilfred go now. Say bye. Bye, -bye. Hi, Wilfred. He's a beautiful dog. I can't believe, like, he's just left on the futon. I know. That's definitely somebody's dog and was like. He's our baby now. Wilfred's quite the, well, how do you call it? The Dutch, the Duchess? Not the Duchess. He's a boy. He's the. Uh... Earl. The Earl of Blackheath, yeah, that's his new title. We got to, actually, that's a great idea. We should get him an Earl of Blackheath, yeah. like, yeah, jumper. Yeah, exactly. I think you should get him that. He's like an Earl, basically. So shall we see your balcony? We'd love to see a view of London. Yeah. Do we want to? living room. Look at Wilford. Oh, we're coming outside with you, brother. Oh my God, what a beautiful balcony. Wow. Uh, here we are. This is Southeast London. See in the distance. Do you see the Eiffel Tower over there? Where? Where? Very, very small in the distance. Is that really the Eiffel Tower? There we go. Oh my gosh, it is. No, it's not. Come on, we're in London. <laughs> That's uh <laughs> hold on. I am I'm so educated! <laughs> Dude, it looks yeah, like it though. It looks like the Eiffel really Tower. Is. No, I've driven underneath it. That's the uh, the Crystal Palace antenna. I think it's a TV tower antenna. This is an antenna? That's crazy. Yeah, it's a, you know, it's a big uh, TV tower sort of thing. So beautiful. Over there. Yeah. That's uh, Lewisham, one of the churches there. So we're in like Blackheath, Lewisham area. Got the uh, British sunset happening right now. Oh, it's gorgeous. Wow, look at the weather. It's so nice. Good thing it's not raining today, huh? It's been really nice recently. Yeah. I think Wilfred has seen some birds because he is super angry right now. Wilf. Oh. Tail. It's so beautiful and fluffy. He's so cute. Oh, there's our backyard. So yeah, here's this is uh, London in lockdown. Is your shoe yellow? Can I see your shoe again? Oh, it's a slipper. Is that from? Oh, yeah, these are my Moroccan uh, house oh, yeah. slippers. Right, it's Moroccan. I love it. It's so cute. In fact, hold on. I gotta show you my socks as well. I wore these specifically for this. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I love those socks. <laughs> I want them. Is that a face on it? Oh, it's Cruella. It's Cruella. No, that's, look, that's Alice. That's Wilfred. Oh, I thought it was Cruella with the black hair. No. Nope. Did, you, did you make this? I got it for Christmas. Uh, apparently, they, they sell them online. You just send them in a big picture and they. Uh, I've, I've got to get that info. I want to make that too. So, we've got living room. This is where I work most of the time. I love it's the like plants. A big fan of the plants. And then this is where we were talking a moment ago in the dining room slash Alice's office. Mm -hmm. I love that you have, you have a lot of plants at your home. Yeah, and in between the last two movies, I got a bit obsessed with plants and decided to buy a ton of them. And I've just been slowly getting more and more. That is Although, like, like a lot of, of at home. I'm kind of banned from plants now because there's literally <laughs> nowhere to put them. <laughs> oh, actually, the lamps, interestingly, were made in Marrakesh when we were shooting there. And if you look in the background, if you're watching the new Men in Black, in the background, when they go into the chop shop where they're getting the hover bike, you can watch a guy cutting the metal to make this lamp. Oh my gosh, that's historic. This exact <laughs> lamp? Yeah, they had they had a couple of them in like the lamp shop in the in the Medina and then we're like, oh, can we get one more? Because we need three for the hallway. So we got three going down the hall. And they go, yeah, we can make one more. And I he was actually- these lamps, oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. And then here's where we will be cooking momentarily, is kitchen. I can't wait. Mm. Got to- uh, Your sand. Your salmon looks really good. I'm impressed. That oh, here, this cool. is a, a throwback to where I'm from. That is a map of Ohio as a cutting board. I love the way that you place everything in your home. Did you make that cutting board yourself? Uh. <laughs> no. 
What is this? What is that painting? Oh. <laughs> That's Cornelius the monkey. He's uh, he's very regal. But yeah, this was an old door in the hutong, and they made it into a table. Oh my gosh, that is the best. Ah! Uh, are you I hungry? Hope you can... I am hungry. You want to make some dinner? I'm starving. Let's cook. Hi. Hi. We are about to break bread together, but before that, we're gonna actually cook this together, and then the quick roasting tin. Oh my gosh, oh. I love that. 30 oh, minutes, was... one dish wonders. Dinner. And it's actually, the cover image is what we are making today. Soy and honey roasted salmon with asparagus and sugar snap peas. Super easy, super good. Well, you know, as you know, I'm not gonna make exactly the same as him. I'm always gonna make my own version, which is, um, everybody knows. Scottish wild salmon, oh yeah, that oh, is interesting. And wild salmon. Some frozen peas and some sugar snap peas. I've got my peas as well. The green giant. Mm. Tender stem broccoli. I guess I will get my frozen broccoli, which is a mix with uh, uh, yes. flour. Got some spring onions, a lime for juice. Do like uh, sesame oil, soy sauce. Mine is uh, Sainsbury's. Mine is um, eggs. Uh, no, no, what be down? Dee dog, take a dee dog, huh? You can't, you can't. Uh, Zhu Jiang. Ah, what? I'm a Chinese store. Actually, this is from another. We've also got a, a Chinese store around the corner that every time we go in, we speak Chinese with them. Some honey, we go a Manuka honey, get some. Ooh, uh, so fancy. Well, obviously, I'm going to use maple syrup. Sweet chili. And the sauce. I oh, see. I'm taking credit for this, but actually Alice is the one that uh, makes this dish most of the time. I make most of the other dishes in quarantine. I'm not a backseat chef, I promise. You're a backseat chef. I mean, okay, I'm back, I'm back Hi, chef right now. Hi, <laughs> um, yes. The glaze keep it as is. It's sort of still sort of drizzle on at the end, but you add the sweet chili. Sorry. Mwah. Sorry. <laughs> I've been called out. I know the truth now. You've been exposed, Greg. See, this is a bad representation because I'd say in quarantine, because Alice is working and I just finished my last job right before, I have been like the designated IE. So like I cook, I clean, I take care of the boy. This is my job. In fact, he's cooked all the meals. Just this one dish that he's not cooked before. Why do we choose the meal that you did not cook? We could have picked any other meal that you cooked. That's hilarious. Well, we a, you know we have ingredients in. You got to use them all up. So this was like the salmon had been in for a bit, so we had to use it up. Well, anyway, carry on, my dear. Get out of here! <laughs> my God, is this making your... me look bad on TV. <laughs> Put some peanuts in there. So I've got peanuts. I don't even know what these are, but they're like, uh, they've got some sort of like honey roasted glaze. Oh Shall we get started? Let's get um, started. Oh, Ten minutes ish before that's done. So we should work out. Part of self care and like you know living is taking care of yourself in terms of like sustenance and your mind and your body, right? So working out is it's not just about like oh, I gotta lose weight, I gotta look like a superhero. It's really just about releasing a lot of your pent up stress every day and just to get your blood flowing and circulation. That is literally the only reason I work out. Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> One. Nine. <laughs> oh, wait. I had to do one more. Hey. What? Yeah. 
And you can see what happens every time I work. <laughs> this guy comes to see what's happening. Hey, hey, buddy. Oh, my friend. You, did you want to come? You can join us. All right, guys. He just comes and does downward dog. That's that's all he really does in terms. I of love that. downward dog. Um, we should do that with him. All right, so let's do some side plank business. All right, guys, you guys can join us. Do this, some side plank. If you guys are watching this, you obviously should still watch it while doing, right? Yeah, here we go. Okay. Maybe let's just call it because. Okay. I think we've done it for today. <laughs> I think it's good. That was a good workout. I think that was amazing. All right, guys, that was Greg's routine, and that's what he does. He, there are no excuses. He does not have a gym. He doesn't even have equipment. He's working out in the kitchen. So literally, there's like no excuses to that's keep what I mean. it moving. Yeah. Okay. Woo. Woo. Yeah. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I think it's good. Very nice. Is it done through? You're gonna pour it right directly inside? All right. Sounds yeah, I'm just gonna pour it over like the vegetables. It might get on the salmon a little bit, but it's mostly like a dressing for the vegetables. All right. Do you like salmon? Do you like salmon? Do you like salmon? He loves salmon, of course he does. Ready? Oh boy, now. Ready? Oh, we just spin. Ready? Dance, dance, dance. Dance, dance. Ready? Do it again. Dance, dance, dance. <gasps> what a good job. He gets to taste the salmon too. He said it was all right. Oh, he said it was all right. Yeah, he's happy with it. And then if you want spice, I've got my chopped up chili that I'm going to... I'll do over half because I don't know if Alice wants spice or not. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna are you gonna drink your wine right now? What kind of question is that? Of course I'm gonna drink my wine. So what are we eating? Yeah. Okay, so instead so of have this instead. Yeah, sparkling nice. Water. It's literally no alcohol. Sparkling water with uh, apple and pomegranate. It's kind of red. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is pomegranate too. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, cheers! Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers. Cheers to life, guys. To life. Cheers, Cheers to life. Quality of life. Mm. This is really oh, is it? Good. Nice. Yeah. To get our food and. I know it's really hard. I don't know how to control. I don't know how to do it. So, I guess it's just gonna be like. Mm. Good. This is really good. Too bad. How'd the peanut sauce? How'd the peanut okay. sauce come out? Is it good? Let me try that with a vegetable. It's really good. Nice, nice. Michelin, you know where to come <laughs> back to me. Simple. How's yours? Healthy. Yeah, delicious. Yeah, good. Yeah, it's so easy and it uses up <laughs> things that you're likely to have already in the kitchen. So, I know. my favorite kind of recipe. Maybe we'll do a little bit. Alice, how is, how is it? Do you, is it? Is it the same as the way you make it? Yeah, he did a very good job. So yeah. I'll keep him for now, so. <laughs> For now. Yeah, he's been he's been cooking a lot because I as you probably said I'm working through lockdown and um, while he isn't he's been really supporting me and cooking some amazing meals. So oh, what a great well, I'm getting too used to it though now. I feel like it's like having a live in IE. I know I mean what are men good for, you know? <laughs> Uh, I mean, recently yeah. I signed up to, to volunteer for the NHS, which is the national health system here. Oh. And what do you we do? didn't want to like leave the house at this point, but uh, you can sign up to be like a phone call person for, mm. for like old people or anyone who's just stuck at home alone. So that's really. I just got it. I just got accepted the other day, so I haven't had a call yet. But hopefully, uh, something comes through soon. Because yeah, it's nice just to have somebody. Because you got to imagine, there's people who. You know, not even like they lived alone before this, and now it's like they can't even go out and do their community stuff. So it's like, oh, yeah, 
I'm mean, that's really great. So people people will call you like they they give out your number and then they call it's you. App, but it's through an app. So I think you get like a message and someone's phone number to call, wow. and then you can choose to like that's really keep up contact if you want to. I feel I feel like if we get along though, I definitely would yeah. be like just call me if you have any you know if you want to talk like any emergency stuff. Obviously, I can't help with but. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Um, volunteers now for the NHS that are helping with this because obviously all the key workers are so busy in the hospitals and the ICU specifically. Yeah. Um, and it's really interesting you're talking about your, uh, you've been aware of your own mental health through all of this. Yeah. Um, our, well, our brother-in-law is a GP and you know he's told us about the increase in kind of queries and concerns about mental health from people because as you say, it's such a change for everyone. And if you don't have a routine or set yourself a routine, oh the days God. just stretch on. Uh, I mean, I feel it and I work from home and I, you know, I, I yeah. read it. But I can also understand, you know, I can understand how difficult it is for people. So I'm yeah. glad that you're doing this. I think this is a really positive thing that you're doing to kind of Thank help you. people and help yourself as well by yeah. creating new things during this time. Yeah. I think this eating together is a good idea. Yeah. It, 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 to be honest, I, I almost forgot that we weren't like in the same room right now. I feel like you're you're actually just sitting across. Yeah. It's really? Room. Oh my god, that's great. Because yeah. literally, your head is right where uh, it would be in a chair. So, for people watching at home, put your computer on a stack of books, put it at your dining table, get a glass of wine, and eat, eat with, with us. Else. Eat with us. Yeah. Even if you're not eating this dish, you can eat whatever. Have a coffee. Have a tea. Have a glass of wine. As, as you were talking just now, Wilfred was uh, biting my feet, saying, <laughs> saying, you're not paying attention to me. He's like kicking us under the table, so you're talking, we're sort of like moving around. Like, I need love, I need love, guys. But, no, he wants, <laughs> he, wants he wants fish, is what he wants. He, he loves salmon, that's his thing. Are you not allowed to give him? Oh, no, I've already, oh, you didn't even notice, but I've been slipping him, uh, secretly oh. slipping him salmon skin under the table. I did not notice that, I did not notice, well, that is so subtle. Look at you. Okay. <laughs> I know how to secretly feed my boy. Yes. But I do think even looking at kind of bigger companies as well, because I think it's difficult for the smaller companies because they, you know, they will go under if they don't have some income. But for bigger companies, the decisions that they make during this crisis now, we will remember. So it's going to be so interesting when we look back yeah. and make our decisions on which companies we want to to use based on how they treated their fellow man during this time. So we shall see. So true. It is very true. Once everything goes back to normality, um, it, it's gonna, everything's gonna change. I mean, we're remembering the governments and their actions. Mm. We're remembering everybody's, every country's leaders and how they're handling it. Everyone's gonna remember this. It's like a mark in history forever. You can't erase it and you can't go backwards. And Mother Nature is literally taking over. I don't know about you guys, but I have animals in my backyard that like, and they're just basically making this their new home. I have like a shelf of lands of animals all the time. These two ducks, they came and had a honeymoon here. I'm like, where did, that, where did you come from? Like, you know, cause there's a pool here and they're just like swimming and mating and like, this is their resort. There's no yeah. lake. There's like no lakes nearby. There's no park. So I was just like, where did they come from? And they just like they taken over. It's so crazy. There's so oh, many animals. Cool. <laughs> We've had yeah. I mean, there are a lot of foxes around us. We've had a lot of foxes. Even in like the daytime, just driving through the village the other day, there was uh, foxes. Like we were taking some food to Alice's parents that live on the other side of the village, and foxes <gasps> in the middle of the village in the daytime, which oh. is. By the shops, just sort of Unheard trotting of, yeah. around, you know. Wow. So, you should take a, yeah. take a photo of that. That's so crazy. Yeah. I don't yeah. even, I've never seen a fox. Like, is it dangerous? Like, what What are they like? No, they're afraid of you. Although, there there are a ton of them around here, and they, Wilfred kind of looks like a fox. So, when we're, when we're out walking late at night, <laughs> We've had we've had little foxes like follow us around because they think they're like, how did that <laughs> stupid fox get caught on a leash? And they, they follow us, and then the foxes like pop out to sort of see Wilfred, and they never come super close, and they're more, much more scared of us anyway. So, uh, but it's kind of a weird animal thing that they have with each other. Yeah, they love him. Is he half fox? Maybe some dogs are half fox. No, I think he's. The vet said he's probably corgi and pomeranian. 
Well, no, that, my internet research said that. Alice's internet research said that he's probably the <laughs> I've wasted a find. lot of hours on Google typing in different dog breed mix combos to try and like find Will's, uh, you know, actual pedigree. But, you he's know, he's a street dog through and through. But, he's probably um, got, yeah, he's probably got like six different kinds of yeah. dogs. Yeah, he's very, he was very unique looking. I love his fur. It is so beautiful. You guys have really good hair him. He's so clean looking. Well, he that's quarantine as well. He's gotten much more baths <laughs> and washing recently. <laughs> so hold on. I gotta show you what's happening below us right now. He's, this is, he's not, he loves salmon so much. His head is just like... He's, he shoved his head in between the chairs. Oh he's like, he's so cute. He's so cute. Have you done a high five with him yet? Yeah, we did it in the kitchen. Oh, good. There we go. Right we were taking, we, were taking uh, we had just finished Cruella and we were taking singing classes right before this, uh, this all kicked off, so unfortunately. Can you, can, you, yeah. can, you, can you show off what you've learned? She's a much better singer than me. I, we'll do that for our next dinner together. Yeah, let me, next time, together. next time, let me start, uh, let me start on the wine well before dinner. I mean, yeah, I'll sing for you, fine. <laughs> hey, Greg, are you drunk here? Let's do a Zoom call. <laughs> It's me at uh, 9 p.m. on a Friday night. The answer will probably be maybe. <laughs> I want to make making you. cocktails in the evenings. You can play That's guitar cool. as well. A lot of guitar, yeah. We I are can play guitar or something. I can do that next time as well. Like so many nights, we we play. Uh, we both have our cocktails and we're playing Gauntlet Legends together. Like we can. Go. Let me preface: I am not a gamer at all, and so Kin and Greg were trying to find a game that Brian and I would play with them, and they found this game, the Gauntlet, and I just became obsessed. I'm terrible at it. You're not terrible. At it. You. But, were, she was the Valkyrie, like uh, the warrior princess. It. She was kicking ass. Wow. Oh, I that the lockdown has made me a partial gamer. I can't, I've um, never, no, wow, really? You've never been a gamer and you became a gamer? Yeah. This must be fun yeah, then. It's, Four year it's, board. it's a big deal for me. I, uh, He's very happy. <laughs> it's tears of joy, it's tears of joy. I've never been a gamer. It's fun, you just push loads of buttons and-, and This was a good one there, like an intro. Yeah, this game requires no skill, really, so. Oh, 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 hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> because you're playing with like, <laughs> exactly. Uh, because we're playing with four, um, I was obviously the, the weakest, and it doesn't matter because the others kind of carry you along with the game. So you you're kind of. Yeah. Yeah, it's like four of you all working together to like go through this dungeon. Oh, so like, okay. you got a bunch of skeletons coming at you, and you got to kill, kill the skeletons. It sounds ridiculous, but it's great fun. No, he's not. He's not even. He's just. Uh, he's just very relaxed now, and he can smell the fish, so he knows there's probably some skin coming. Oh, so he's waiting for the skin. Oh, what a smell! Yeah. You're so yeah. smart, Will. I wish I could give you pieces of my salmon. <laughs> he wishes it too. There's like the extremes, right? The people who do nothing with the time, and the people who are overfilling it with time. You know, and then you're just like, and that's what I did too for the first few weeks. I was like, I will not sit here for the next few months just binge watching Netflix. I am going to do something productive. I am going there to. There is Disney Plus. There is Hulu. There is YouTube. <laughs> I have options. No. <laughs> doing nothing is very important. I mean, think about our ancestors. You know, hunting, gathering. You you made yes. you got you you found a big tree. You got a bunch of fruit. You made a good kill in the hunt. It's you hung out for a few days and just and just relaxed. You know, you're a farmer. It's winter. You can't do that much when it's winter. <laughs> there are definitely times when it is just natural to not be constantly doing something. I think that's yeah. one thing that I think we all need to. Uh, hopefully, that people take away from this is it's okay just to be quiet and relax sometimes. I agree. It's and it's okay. actually okay to. I mean. There's all these sort of studies about how children aren't used to being bored because there's always like a stimulus and there's always a TV show or a book or they're doing something all the yeah. time. And actually, we're meant to get used to that feeling. That's a normal feeling that, that we should kind of be able to manage um, and be kind of comfortable with ourselves and our own thoughts and, and kind of 
reset. I think this is such an unusual time for all of us and we're all kind of dealing with this in different ways. So I think it's it's okay to have quiet time yeah. and just sort of you know, relax and, and sort of slow things down because our lives are so frenetic. Yes. And busy all the time. But um, I think it's quite a, there are positives we can gain from this, I think, right. too. Actually, there's a book that I got for Christmas that I have not read yet. It's called <laughs> The Subtle Art. I don't know why you gave me side eye that. I didn't give it I, to I you. Saw, I, I saw, saw that side eye. I saw it. I was like, what's Oh, that? no, no. Well, to be honest, that was, that came from, I was guilty that I hadn't read the book. So I looked over Alice because she's the only one that can see what I do every day. So I'm like, don't judge me. <laughs> I haven't read it yet. <laughs> it's called The Subtle Art of Not Giving Up. You know what? That's a really great. That's a really great book. That's a really suppose, yeah. It's supposed, supposed to be really good. I've I've yet to get to it, but Very, it's, it's in the catalog now. It's a, it's just super simple to read. Like it's not complicated. You know, it's very like straight to the point. It's a great book. I might just. Uh... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> He's sitting on the chair next to me. <laughs> <laughs> he followed this fan and he left you because he went with the plates. Oh my god. He knows what's, he knows what's good. He's not going to sit around here when the food's gone. We do yoga together. But that's we true. Do... We, do, do, we do a lot of yoga together. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. Doing yoga together is amazing. Like, yoga is such a deep, like, it's a, such a great bonding thing for me. I, mm. I do so. What would you like to do now? Is there anything else would you like to um, share or do or? Maybe just send everyone some good wishes. Okay, it's, yeah. Yeah, we're... <sighs> it's a tough time, but everybody out there watching, I hope you're getting through it the best you can. And I hope we uh, brought you some laughs and some <laughs> ideas and try and enjoy yourself, even if it is, uh, Forget about the bad things that are happening and just enjoy the time. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Right for president. <laughs> president. President. I'm not going to vote for you unless you do a British accent in drag. <gasps> I, why didn't he do that? I could happen. I could happen. We did uh, actually with Ken the other day, we, we did a, a makeup challenge where me and Ken. He made up Riney, I made up Alice, and we did a day and a night look. Oh my God, see. that is so fun. Yeah, the, the boys have now started doing makeup on us and it's like a challenge. We did it once and that was enough for me. He, he Initially he tried to do, because he saw on Drag Race that they do a lot of contouring. So he tried to contour <laughs> half of my face and he just put some like brown eyeshadow like here. And I'm very pale, so it was just like dirt on my face. So, it didn't go off to a great start. I but... tried my best game. <laughs> you know, Drag Race made me do things that I didn't think I would have done. You can see, like, that's the day look. Yeah. Well, then that's, oh, that's the it. night look. I think I went a bit heavy on the eyes. A so little heavy, yeah. Green, yeah, green eyeshadow <laughs> and uh, bright red lips. So... It seemed like a good idea. I mean... <laughs> It was, it was a look, it was a look. But the day look was very natural, so to you should have done that for me today. But alas, no makeup for today. <laughs> oh, you look so beautiful, Alice. So oh, bless your heart. Well, you know, I, I'm just loving not having to wear makeup and not having to dress up. It's nice just to yeah. keep, it, keep it relaxed. Me too. God, the amount of time I spend save on my hair and makeup in the morning is just out of control. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for. Yeah, we've had fun. Letting me. Nice yeah. Had a nice night. Yeah, it was really fun. It was really fun. It's so great to meet you, Alice. You're wonderful. You too. You're yeah, wonderful. likewise. Yeah. I can't wait to have the face to face. Hug me too. And, you know, me catch too. Up. Uh, yeah, come stay with us next time you guys are in London. Anytime. You're always welcome to stay with us, so please do. I will. I will. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you for letting us come to your home today. That's all right. Thanks for coming. Stop by again. Yeah, I okay. do. All right. Bye, guys. All right. See you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.